<laughs> You're so fancy. <laughs> I used to teach science. <laughs> I think we're all supposed to do that in science yeah, class. Isn't that how you're you're like supposed to waft it like this so you don't actually stick your nose in the chemical. Oh okay, well, you almost got covered in coffee. <laughs> Hi, I'm Erin from Jimbree Play and Music of Calgary and today we're at Good Earth Coffee and we are going to try some coffee, test some, some new flavors, and talk about the importance of coffee and parenting. Okay, let's go in and try some! Good Earth Cafes. I have two boys, seven and nine, and I basically make a living off fueling moms with coffee. Hi, I'm Lara, small business owner and mom to a toddler whose energy is enviable. If it wasn't for caffeine, I wouldn't be standing up today. I have three very active boys, a seven-year-old, a twin, four-year-old, and basically coffee is one of my food groups. We're gonna learn how to taste coffee. And we've got, we've got Jasmine here from Good Earth Coffee to help us figure out the best way to do that. So we're doing the dark roast. Um, it's the coffee that doesn't have like the most caffeine. So if you want something that's really flavorful and really chill, then I definitely recommend trying it. Um, it's rich, it has a full body, and it's like bittersweet chocolate. So. It's not it tastes like chocolate. <laughs> you lied. Okay. <laughs> <Hey>, um, <laughs> The darker the roast, does it have more or less caffeine? It has less caffeine, so it has more of a flavorful I've been, feel. I've been drinking the wrong kind of coffee. So this is the medium roast. It's one of my favorites. It tastes like toasted walnut and it's um, sweet chocolate and all that fun stuff. This one's better. That's way better. That's better. Yeah. You can drink that black. You can drink it black. I usually drink it black. It's a good like, I start to the morning. Black. No, you should never. But you could. <laughs> I could. You could. So this is our holiday blend for um, Christmas time. It's obviously really pretty and really awesome. Um, that's what I first noticed about it. It's a light roast, so it has more caffeine than the other two. So if you want to stay up a little more, yeah. The light roast. Yeah. There's coffee and apple hints in it. It's a creamy body. It smells like coffee. <laughs> <laughs> You're so fancy. <laughs> I used to teach science. <laughs> I think we're all supposed to do that in science yeah, class. Isn't that how you're you're like supposed to acid. waft it like this so you don't actually stick your nose in the chemical. Oh my God. I mean, we're it was very good. refined, but our palate's large. <laughs> <laughs> this one's, I think the middle is my favorite. Toffee, apple, creamy body. Look, it says right here it's also well balanced. If you don't know what it tastes like, it says so on the back. My new life plan. I'm gonna start inviting people out for coffee and then I'll be like, those amazing nutty notes. <laughs> and then all my friends are gonna be like, what yeah. is she talking about? <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> About the coffee, different coffee flavors, different coffee roasting. We're gonna try some of the new holiday drinks that they have here at Good Earth Coffee. So we're gonna guess which ones they are. So they've given us kind of a sample to try here. So see if we can figure it out. It smells amazing. It smells like cinnamon. Spiced egg latte. Yeah, I think so. It sort of tastes like there's already alcohol in it, which is it does will actually. automatically get my vote. <laughs> we think the spiced egg nut. Butter, rum, flat white. We weren't even close. I didn't even look up the menu that far. Butter, rum, flat white. It tastes really? just like eggnog. Well, that's why it tastes like well, it's the rum. You're tasting the butter rum. Can we do it again so I'm not wrong? <laughs> <laughs> Second drink. First of all, started with a heart on top, which we really like. This one also smells like cinnamon. It does smell like cinnamon. <laughs> 
holiday tea latte? Yeah, that's what I was going to say. A holiday tea latte. It's very milky. It's latte-y. Although gingerbread latte, I don't know. Can't be gingerbread latte. I'm going to tea latte. I don't think it's tea. I'm not super confident, though. I'm going to say gingerbread latte. Okay, you're right. It's a gingerbread latte. All of these would be really good with these. Yeah. <laughs> Bailey's would be good in there. Million dollar business idea. Okay, so this one looks chocolatey. It looks like there's some sort of syrup on the top. It's like a total work of art. Mm, oh, it smells like a candy cane. It's the candy cane mocha without tasting it. That's the best one. Yeah, it's my favorite. Oh, it's so good. Is there caffeine? <laughs> yes, there is. But it has like peppermint syrup and um, chocolate in it. It's so good. And then you get candy canes. I love candy canes. It's delicious. The only thing that would make it better. Peppermint syrup. Yes. We could just drink this whole cup. Yeah, super good. That was really good. Okay, our last cup to try. This one looks bubbly on the top. I can already smell it. The egg nog. Oh yeah. See, I'm not a huge fan of egg nog. So. Yeah, the other one was definitely the buttered rum. I like that yeah, one. Yeah, in comparison to You and I are perfect drinking buddies because we're not gonna <laughs> like. So, when you've had those lovely long, my child is teething nights. What end of the coffee spectrum? What would you get when you came in in the morning? Anything with espresso. The most caffeine you get would probably be a double espresso, just because it's just a small, short, quick shot, and then you're gone. But if you want to like sip a drink, you definitely do an Americano because that has a nice flavor. See, it's I think the espresso is what you should have because you need it when you're a parent, and you need to get that caffeine yeah, in as quick as possible, um, and especially. If they're teething, if they haven't forgotten to nap for two days, if it's over the holidays and they've been at Christmas parties the whole time and you're, you've are you been at Christmas parties the whole time and they haven't slept and you haven't slept and everybody should be drinking coffee but the child, I guess. Well, now that I know, I'm going to switch all of my coffee to light roast because I need the highest caffeine. Yeah, That's all I need, just caffeine. But if you think about it, if you have an espresso shot, that's probably the only way a mom is going to get a full thing of hot coffee. That too, yeah. right? Because as soon as it's tall, it kid can. runs off, is like scaling the walls, screaming at something, and by the time you get back to it, it's cold. Like, yeah. it's three times too many to zap your coffee. And is the microwave killing caffeine? Yeah. Oh, that's an excellent question. Like, that we need to know. We had one mom in this week at Debris, and she's like, I'm so glad he's running everywhere today because he's going to go home and nap, and it's my only hot coffee I get to drink this week. And I was like... That's why there's Jimbery. Yes. So they'll nap and you can have a hot coffee. <laughs> okay, thank you so much, Laura, for coming and tasting coffee with us. Thank you very much, Jasmine, for teaching us about which coffee we should be drinking because I think we're going to change our coffee tasting. And thank you guys for watching and we hope to see you at Good Earth and Jimbery in the next few weeks. Birth your, birth your birth coffee. Birth my child again? It's all good. Okay. It's all good. You don't like wine? I hate wine. No. Huh. What do you drink? Like hard stuff only. Oh, that's okay too. <laughs> well, I'm not too picky. What do you like about it? Eggnog. And it makes you feel like you're drinking. Booze. <laughs> Total win. Do you want a happy face for sure, even though black coffee is terrible? <laughs> we want you to be authentic, so if it tastes gross. Yeah. It's not personal. <laughs> Just no spitting. Yeah. No. Not in my direction anyway. <laughs> Go that way. By all means. Okay, yeah, that way. <laughs>